let's talk about something very fun and very different. So, the Indiana Jones Expanded Adventures. It's not just American publications. Because we got a young indie YA book series, we got the Bantam adult novel series, we got comics by Marvel and later Dark Horse. But we also got overseas exclusives. And in Germany we got eight, like, full-on novels written by Wolfgang Holbein. And the French, they got, like, seven original young indie novels. YA books. And they also got three Indiana Jones comics. And thankfully, just this week, a fan posted a English translation of them online, which I appreciate, because that meant I could read all of them. I should just mention on this note, I've read most of the young indie books, both English originals and the French ones. A couple of them have been translated to English by fans, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna review every one of them separately. Maybe I'm gonna make videos about, like, the YA book series in total, but I don't know. But I'm gonna talk about each of these French comics in its own video. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is Indiana Jones and the Secret of the Pyramid. I'm not gonna bother trying to pronounce the French titles, just so you are aware. This story is set in 1923, and Indy is in Egypt. He teams up with his old friend, a reporter lady called Maria Smirnova, and together they investigate a missing archaeologist, they find a secret underground temple, and eventually they learn that the archaeologist has gone crazy and is attempting to revive two pharaohs. And also there's like a German guy there who's also like a side villain. And the story itself is pretty fun. I like it. What I don't really like, the artwork. This may be the best art out of the three, which isn't a compliment. I guess I like the coloring and some panels look okay. It is an art style, I guess. But it's not my cup of tea. And the next two comics are just gonna look worse and worse. But I mean, overall, it was a very solid Indiana Jones story. I enjoyed it. I would actually recommend it. And next up, we're gonna look at Indiana Jones and the City of Lightning. 